The Delta X-44 Manta Stealth Fighter is an Air Force plan for fighter development. Its design predates the X-44 Manta, but the Manta never made it past the concept design stage. Nonetheless, its short lifespan affects the possible use of the stealth design by the next sixth generation fighter that may be adopted by the U.S. Air Force, USAF. Manta stands for multi-axis no-tail, which refers to a stealth fighter design in the form of a delta without a recognizable tail section. This design was specialized to achieve a low level of flight observability, perhaps even more stealth compared to the fighters emerging from the F-22 development process. The X-44 uses X-44 thrust vector control. Back in 1999, Lockheed Martin was behind the X-44 design and later partnered with NASA for its development. It is a single pilot air superiority fighter that is 62 feet long. One of the main ideas behind the X-44 was the use of thrust vectoring control, which gave it great maneuverability. With this thrust vectoring, the aircraft can change the thrust angle to gain advantageous altitude control allowing for more aggressive changes, of course. The X-44 was considered as a test aircraft to see how it could fly without a tail. This aircraft has what military manufacturers describe as a main fuselage shape with delta wings and turbofan engines side by side, namely Pratt and Whitney, with 35,000 pounds of thrust. It is estimated that the aircraft can reach speeds of up to 1,500 miles per hour, with a ceiling of up to 49,000 feet. This design will result in lower drag and more efficiency with better stealth capabilities. The X-44 is equipped with internal armament, including a full potential payload bay. Its armament is impressive with a wide range of missiles, such as Sidewinders and AMRAMs, medium-range air-to-air, as well as precision-guided bombs and an internal 20mm cannon. The X-44's overall configuration will allow it to carry more fuel to extend its range. As Alex Hollingsrove at Sandbox says, the X-44 Manta could offer similar performance to the F-22 while also being perhaps even more difficult to detect. Enough to push this airplane concept off the pages of Lockheed's notebooks and into their production facility. But it's not just stealth. The X-44 does better. It also brought in more hate. He said the X-44 would be more stealthy than the F-22 it has. The reason that it was the impetus behind the NJAB program is most likely that NJAD has a wedge-shaped talus design. The no-tail X-44 aircraft designed by NJAD would likely have created a lower radar signature. The Air Force has reportedly built an NGAD prototype and taken it in flight tests. The Indonesian Navy also has its own NGAD as a sixth-generation fighter that will replace the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet. However, Funding for this project has been cut from the most recent budget at the Pentagon. The new budget proposal will most likely be the result of the X-44 aircraft. The point here is that the X-44 was designed more than two decades ago, and it remains to be seen whether the Air Force and Naval versions of the NGAD are both mirrors of the X-44. This is an example of a return to the future for sixth generation aircraft design. The X-44 Manta is an old experimental aircraft that could form the basis for the Air Force's new long-range fighter in 1999. Lockheed Martin has plans to develop a stealth fighter in the form of a Delta that eliminates the need for a conventional tail like that found on the F-22 base. The X-44 Manta uses a conventional tail with both vertical and horizontal control, which aims to improve thrust vector control and direct engine flow to give the aircraft the acrobatic capabilities required in high-end dogfights. More than two decades later, the same concept appears consistently in nearly all official Air Force renderings. The next Air Force superiority fighter is being developed under the NJAB or NEXT, Generational Air Domination Program begging. The question is, are there any elements from X-44? Mantas have found their way in America. Last year's top-line fighter, the U.S. Air Force, shocked the world with the announcement that it had designed, built, and tested the prototype aircraft of its next-generation air dominance program. This new jet promises more advances than any fighter has ever seen before, designed not only to battle the more advanced fifth generation, 
but also to dominate opponents in Russia and China for decades to come. Around the same time, the Air Force also celebrated the anniversary by unveiling images that appeared to show a wedge-shaped aircraft with a conventional tail section, which sparked some speculation about its connection to the NGAV announcement. Since then, other official drawings have come out of the Air Force, including translations from leading airlines such as Lockheed Martin, all showing a similar wet shape for the aircraft. Some, myself included, have pointed towards the very capable Northrop. But in the end, passing the YF-23 Black Widow II set a tacit precedent for this tailless design. But Northrop isn't the only show in town that knows how to build a true tailless stealth fighter. Based on some artist renderings and the practical limitations of developing new fighter aircraft with short fuses, the X-44 Manta may represent an early iteration of what was or will be at least part of America's next prize fighter in the sky, the X-44 Manta, or multi-axis non-aircraft tail. The name X-44, or rather its acronym, gets to the point. Behind the concept after decades of rapid fighter development, a few things were recently considered. Standard fare for tactical aircraft is capable of things like conventional tail sections with vertical and horizontal control surfaces, while the F-22 and later F-35 adopted a slightly different tail than you'd find on non-still fourth-generation fighters like the F-16.